Welcome to Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters. At Capital Blue Cross, we encourage high academic achievement because healthy minds help contribute to a prosperous community. As the region's leading health insurer, we are proud to celebrate the accomplishments of the Susquehanna Valley's leading schools and top students. Thanks for tuning in for the show, and good luck, teams. From the studio of WGAL8, teams of the best and brightest students from Susquehanna Valley High Schools go head to head in a battle of wits. It's Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters. Now, here's your host, Rich Rosen. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our show. 50 teams of high school students have competed on our show at Studio A over the course of our tournament, and today it narrows down to four. Cumberland Valley takes on Cedarcliff, and Governor Mifflin goes up against Lancaster Country Day. Two of those teams will appear live at Whitaker Center for Science and the Arts when Brain Busters goes prime time, and that's Tuesday, May 26th at 7 o'clock p.m. But right now it's up to Cumberland Valley and Cedarcliff, so let's get them to work right now with today's opening round. Ten-point questions, one big brain buster, compliments of our friends at Pizza Hut. Good luck to all eight of you. Princeton, Trenton, Saratoga, New Yorktown. We're all famous battles in this revolution. Frank. The revolution, American Revolution. American Revolution is correct. It's a Swahili phrase that means no worries or no problem. Made famous, Hemish. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata, made famous, of course, in Disney's The Lion King. In 1909, French aviator Louis Blériot became the first person to fly across this body of water. Michael. English Channel. The English Channel is now crossed by a channel. Yes. This novel takes its title from a line in a poem by Robert Burns. Something about best laid plans. Frank. Of Mice and Men. Of Mice and Men is this novel by John Steinbeck. George Washington is called the father of our country. What military and political leader has been called the George Washington of South America? Frank again. Simon Bolivar. He's the one. You're correct again. In 1766, Emile Lasson made this gas by heating charcoal with zinc oxide. He's Joseph. Carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide. He's lucky, of course, he didn't produce enough to suffocate him. Broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale, Chinese, and skunk are all kinds of this vegetable. What is, Michael? Mustard? No, sorry. What is this green, leafy plant, Cedarcliff? Frank. Sprout? No, no, no. Cabbages. Correct response. It's the number of radians in a complete revolution of 300... Michael. Two pi. Two pi of 360 degrees. Good anticipation. The alcoholic drink is named for the county in Kentucky, which, Frank. Bourbon. Bourbon, which of course is named for the former Royal House of France. Because of black market traffic and caviar, this black sea fish is facing extinction. Michael. Sturgeon. Sturgeon is the kind of eggs that are used for Russian caviar. In Through the Looking Glass, they propose to talk of shoes and ships and sealing wax and cabbages and kings, but they don't. What is this unlikely pair? John. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Nope, sorry, incorrect. Cedarcliff. Uh, it's the other pair with the walrus and the carpenter. And now it's time for the big brain buster brought to you by Pizza Hut. Make it a big night in and order the big night in deal from Pizza Hut. In 1854, this act repealed the Missouri Compromise. Michael. Kansas Nebraska Act. The Kansas Nebraska Act created two new territories, now states. Congratulations, Cumberland Valley. In 1999, she was awarded a congressional gold medal 44 years after her heroic act. Andrew. Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks is the mother of the civil rights movement. Albania, Bulgaria, Greece, and Romania are all part of this his Michael the Balkans the Balkans is absolutely correct in literature it included Baudelaire and Malherme in music Ravel and Debussy in painting Monet and Renoir Joseph romanticism no sorry that's incorrect what name do these artistic movements share Cumberland Valley Michael impressionism impressionism yes three young men are on their way to a wedding when an old sailor stops one of them and tells him Tim. Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. You are correct. Yes, in golf, an eagle is two under par. What is two over par? Adam. Double bogey. A double bogey is correct. This small arboreal animal has very large eyes, soft fur, and long furry tail. What is this distant relative? Adam again. The lemur. The lemur is the distant relative of the monkey found in the island of Madagascar. This region experiences the greatest temperature fluctuation in the world with warm summers and bitter winters. What is this region of Russia? Michael. Step. No, sorry, that's incorrect. Andrew. Siberia. Siberia. That was correct because it was in before the bone, uh, before the buzzer. 90 to 80. A great game going. That sound takes us to the end of the round into our first break. We'll be back in a moment or two. Hello. My name is Jacob Hansen. I'm a junior at Cumberland Valley High School. 
At Cumberland Valley High School, staff and students are deeply rooted in the tradition of academic excellence and achievement. We have built a learning environment that provides all students with the opportunity to reach their fullest potential, yet continually work to further enhance that successful atmosphere. Cumberland Valley is soaring to greatness, committed to excellence. Good luck to both teams. Back to you, Rich. Thank you, Jacob, and thank you for staying with us for our semifinal match between Cumberland Valley and Cedarcliff. We've met eight people so far, but there's some other very important people that comprise both of these teams. So let's head over to Cumberland Valley and first say hello to Rashab Iyer. Uh, you are a sophomore, and I understand you were a very important part of the Science Olympiad team at Cumberland Valley. Yeah. And how did your uh, team do? We qualified for states. Fantastic. Well, good luck to you, and that's coming up. I wish you luck. Thanks for being here. Next to you is Jacob Hansen, and we just saw you did an excellent job reading the school stead. And you, uh, perhaps, are a future attorney? Uh, I have some involved with my school's mock trial team. We actually competed at states recently and took eighth place. And you took eighth place in the state? In the state. Does conference. that you know, qualify you to go to nationals? Uh, unfortunately, they only take first place. All right. Well, I'm sure you did. Well, next year. You never know. <laughs> nice to have you here. And next to you is Mrs. Donna Benson, uh, mm -hmm. gifted uh, support teacher at Cumberland. Valley. Great to have you here. Now, you've been on the stage at Whitaker, and that's coming up, you know, uh, in about 10 days from today, and, and have, it's coming yes. up this in a week from Tuesday. And you've been there. What was the experience like? It was very exciting, although we didn't like the outcome quite as, uh, as good as maybe this year if we get there again. <laughs> okay, you never know. Well, thanks for being here. Thanks for being such a great team here It'll at Studio A. This is Benson. Next over at Cedar Cliff, Maggie Fennessy. Maggie, it's great to have you here as the team's alternate, and you're a senior, and I hear that you're very involved in student government. Yes, I am the treasurer for student council and the president of our National Honor Society. Well, that's a huge responsibility on both ends. I mean, there's a lot of monies that come through, through yeah, the high school. Yeah, a lot of uh, checks from Pepsi. <laughs> Oh, excellent. That's a good sign. All right, good support, good corporate support. Nothing wrong with that. And next to you is Mrs. Audrey Plazio. Now, Mrs. Audrey Plazio, your team has not only been on the stage at Whitaker, but also have been the champions. Yes. And that was, was quite the experience. Awesome right? experience, and we did like the outcome. <laughs> so you never know what's going to happen. Well, no one knows what the outcome is going to be today, but let's get back to work with today's one-on-one -on -one rapid fire. A great opportunity to talk to the rest of the players. Uh, Adam Shaw, senior over at Cumberland Valley, and great to have you here. And you uh, went on a mission trip, but you stayed within the borders of the United States. Tell us about this experience. That's right. Uh, we went to Washington, D.C., and we made lunches and fed them to the homeless on DuPont Circle. What a great opportunity to learn and grow and realize the, what we have and the privileges that we have uh, mm -hmm. here. Thanks a lot. Thanks for sharing with us. And Frank Garvey. Frank Garvey is a senior over at Cedar Cliff. And you have something. We, we know that you have a real strong interest and passion for politics. And boy, do you have something to look forward to. Yes. I have discovered that next week I'm going to be a page for a day at the State House of Representatives. Fantastic. What a great opportunity. And maybe help out and learn something. Maybe you'll get some connections. You never know. I hope so. All right. Frank and Adam, let's put you two one on one. George and T.S. Eliot make an unlikely pair of authors. What last name is shared by another unlikely couple of writers, Thomas and Virginia? Frank. Wolf. Wolf is correct. Archibald Cox, Leonard Jaworski, and John Sirica were all important figures in the investigation of this historical event. What was it? Frank again. Watergate. Watergate. You are correct again. And finally, only one element on the periodic table has only three letters in its name. What is element number 50? Adam. Tin. Tin is correct. 